Here, we are going to look at another dependency breaking technique called breakout method object. I have provided another example of class example history. And this time, we're going to look at this method, update most recent entries. Now, this is a fairly complex method in a fairly complex class. So in order to test it properly, we will have to populate all these member data before we can really do any operation using this method. Therefore, it will be very difficult to instantiate just this method and use it for testing. So in order to resolve this, we are going to use breakout method object and extract this method body as a discrete class. Again, I'll demonstrate using IntelliJ's features. We'll go to refactor, extract, method object, and for brevity, we'll just call it updater. And since we're going to be making it discrete, we'll just make it public. And IntelliJ is going to make an inner class, but that is not what we want. So we'll go ahead and make a new class with the same name. And fill in its content using what IntelliJ has generated for us. So cut and paste. And now we get to do what's called leaning on the compiler, as the book calls it. What that is, is just go ahead and compiling this code to find out what we just broke. But because we're using an IDE, we don't have to do that. We can just look at what's read and attempt to fix that. In our particular case, we do not have a very strong compelling reason to do anything more complex than use the reference to the original class. So we'll go ahead and do exactly that. To do that, we'll, we are going to make a private member which will serve as the reference back to the original class and add to the constructor as well. So we can actually refer back to the original class. And now we get to fix this part. So here we see this reference most recent entries and this method, which was in here, but now it's no longer available in this particular discrete class. And this constant again in this class. So first of all, looking at this constant, this constant is no longer used because it was only in this method. So we'll go ahead and steal that into our new class. So that's one down. And to resolve this method, we'll go ahead and just use the reference back to the original class. So two down, and we have these most recent entries left. Luckily for us, we can go ahead and just use the getter method that is in the original class. So it's going to be a list of example intruders. And we'll use the same name and use a getter. And now we have fixed all the references and it seems that the compiler is happy. The only issue now is that because we have changed the constructor, we have to also change the call. This shouldn't be too difficult. Go ahead and pass this reference and we are really done. So this is one way to use breakout method object to make the instantiation of one particular method easier, thus more testable.